Hello everybody, welcome on back to another video on the Unimit channel. Today I have here the LEGO Star Wars 501st Legion Clone Troopers Battle Pack set from 2020. If you did enjoy this video then please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the notification bell turned on so you do not miss another video. Now I'm not going to be doing a review on this set in this video because I already have done a review on it. If you haven't seen it already make sure you go and check it out, the link will be in the description below. However, in this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different with the set. Something that I don't think anyone else on YouTube has actually done yet. Now, this set is considered by a lot of people to be one of the best LEGO sets that has ever been made. It certainly is one of the most popular ones because I had a very hard time to actually get this thing. They sold out within minutes after being released on the LEGO shop uh, at home. So, yeah, it is a very popular set. And I don't blame anyone. It's a really good set. The Walker is really good, the box beater is really good as well, and the figures are amazing, especially the Jet Trooper, I really like that one. Um, well, everything about it is just really good. Uh, this, uh, by a lot of people, is considered as a perfect LEGO set. One of the best sets that's ever been made, basically. Um, but is it really perfect? Can it go through everything? Well, in this video, we're gonna be seeing if this it really is the best set, because we're gonna be doing a drop test in this video. Don't know if anyone else has done it on YouTube yet, so we're going to be the first to do it. Now, the reason why I'm going to be doing a drop test on this set is because it's a really good set overall. And, for example, if you've got like a 5 year old or something, uh, and you want to get him a Lego set, but you don't know which one you want to buy him, uh, you would probably go for this one because it is like the best set ever. Um, and it is pretty cheap as well compared to other Star Wars sets. Um, but is it durable? Well, we're going to find out in this video. Okay, so I'm not going to be including the figures in these um, vehicles because I don't want to damage the figures or anything like that because the figures are like the best things about this set to me because I really love figures. Uh, so we're going to be dropping both the ATRT and the Bark Speed. I'll probably start with the Bark Speed first. But before we begin, I'm just going to make a few predictions. I have not dropped these at all, so I do not know what the results are going to be. But I have faith in the Bark Speed. I'll just say that now. I think that this Bark Speed is actually pretty durable. Um, it, it's quite strong like it doesn't come off or anything like that no pieces fall off ATRT don't have much faith in this thing because it is quite flimsy especially with the legs and all the joint pieces and everything that are in it so yeah that's just my prediction don't know if it's gonna uh, actually be true have faith in the bark speeder but the ATRT I do feel quite sorry for that thing um, and even if they do break I do have the instructions available I haven't put them away or anything so that should be fine Okay guys, so before we do the drop test, we're going to com commemorate the set. Because this thing has played a massive part in a lot of people's lives. And the story behind it is just, it brings a tear to my spider eye. Uh, with Ryan, or as he's known as in the LEGO community, m Productions, um, sort of campaigning for this set. We've got to give it um, a commemoration before we drop it and see the results. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to, uh, I'm going to salute the set. And we're going to stand here for 10 seconds. And we're going to pay our respects to the 501st Battle Pack before we uh, drop it. Okay, it's been 10 seconds now, so let's do the drop test. I guess first off, we're going to be doing the box speeder. So uh, with that being said, let's drop it. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like when you drop it. Uh, it's kind of destroyed, you know, but it's still intact. I can quite easily fix this without using the instructions or anything. A few things have come off, but overall it's sort of still okay. It's still intact, like you can still fix it uh, quite easily. So yeah, I guess now we're going to be doing the ATRT and this thing ain't going to stand a chance. Um, so expect the whole thing to just sort of come apart.
Like I said, here you have it. This is the ATRT. It didn't do that bad. It didn't do as bad as I thought it would do. The only things that actually came off were the legs and the side. Uh, so yeah, it did pretty well, the ATRT. I think that this one, uh, I didn't have faith in at all, but I feel like this one's actually done much better than the Bart Speeder. So here we have it, everyone. These are both of the sets broken up. Uh, it, it didn't really cause too much damage, you could argue, because it's small, but I mean, the ATRT, the legs came off and the box speeder. I wasn't expecting this thing to actually break, but it broke, which is a big shocker to me. And that's a bummer as well, because I'm actually going to have to rebuild all this now. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, then make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the notification bell turned on. So you do not miss another video. And back to the question at the beginning. Is this thing durable? Would you buy this for a five-year-old kid or something or a young kid? I would say no. Don't buy this set for a, a youngling because they can trash this thing. Like, um, I, I dropped it from a pretty high distance, but um, young people, uh, young kids and all that, uh, they're probably going to smash this thing on the floor. So if you're considering getting a young kid this set, uh, don't. And I think that the results are pretty shocking, to be honest. I think that the ATRT definitely lasted a bit more than I expected it. Bark speeder, I thought that thing wasn't going to break at all, but I was wrong there. So uh, I hope this video was useful to you. If you ever want to buy this thing for a young person, or you just want to see what it looks like when you drop it. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Five of First Battle Pack. I mean, I've still got the figures. The figures are perfectly fine. Uh, so that's good. And there's not really too much I've got to rebuild. So... Hope you enjoyed this video, hope it was useful to you, so peace out, see you later, and bye bye.